Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. This will go for the week for this will go for the week of September 20th. Um let's jump into this. I hope that everybody's good. Um thank you for being here. Uh thank you for the likes, the shares, the comments. All right, so let's see what's going on this week for Aquarius. It looks like some of you are having like a, a breakthrough <clears throat> clarity about, you know, finding, finding meaning in regards to w why things haven't really turned out the way you wanted them to, or why have things been stalled or stagnant? Um, you're actually learning patience, that some things require patience, okay? Um, some of you are, are finding meaning or getting to the root of the problem in regards to the negative self-talk or the, the negative thoughts or actions. Um, I think some of you are finally finding emotional balance or stability, and it's helping you get clear Um about maybe how you have stagnated yourself or some particular relationship, business, whatever, I don't know, um, in your life. So you, you're kind of finding the meaning in regards to what part you play, okay? Um, there might have been or is or are some challenges in a relationship. Uh, you might be dealing with, like, a very stable person, maybe even wealthy in terms of, you know, finances, uh, resources. Um, it's been a tug of war in regards to power in the relationship, okay? You might be the wealthy individual and you don't want to give up, you know, you. some of you have like set man and woman rules for a relationship. That's how you want it. And that's how you, you, you think it should be. Um, and there's kind of been, you know, someone trying to exert their willpower over the other, I guess. But it looks like some of you are going to try to find common ground in how do we push this forward. If this is a relationship, this could even be business. It could be anything, okay? There might be a community of people that just don't like you, maybe even jealous of you. They talk about you. This could be friends, family. I don't know. Um, yeah, they talk about you, not in a good way. Um, some of you may be choosing to leave those people behind. You finally get it for some of you, or whether whatever it is for you, but you get it. Um, you're also trying. You're also seeing that. You stagnated your manifestation. Like you have you have all the these things that you want for yourself and that you have been manifesting for yourself, but um it hadn't come in as quickly as you thought because you you held it up, maybe by way of your your thoughts or your actions, okay? Think positive thoughts. I know it's a cliche, but it looks like it's gonna work for some of you. Um some of you could be dealing with somebody from a different country, different backgrounds. All right, so that's all I got. All right, so what is Aquarius dealing with this week? And let's get some advice for us Aquarius. One more. All right. What's the advice for Aquarius this week? I really feel calm. Some of you are really feeling 
very calm because you came to some clarity. Like some of you were just high strung, like super high strung, okay? And you were stressing yourself out, stressing the other person or other people out. And um, yeah, it was just too much to deal with, okay? So let's see what's going on this week. Yep, the devil. And then at the bottom of the deck, the nine of swords. This is you, negative actions, codependency, negative thoughts, needing to be with someone or fall in love with someone out of loneliness and not, you know, just wanting to share your life, your experience, your existence with someone and it be pure. Some of you just really need to need or need it to be past tense for some of you. It could be present. You just need to really question your own self, your own motives, your own mental stagnation. Um, some of you keep yourself tied to mental, to negative thoughts, to this is like victimization, self yeah, you 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 are um keeping yourself chained to maybe even a negative situation, third party, all that bull. Um, but also at the same time keeping yourself uh tied to trauma. It's like you try to get out and then you go right back in. Okay. Um, so that's what that's about. Yeah, Seven of Swords, this is you. Um, you're either constantly thinking that someone else is this way or this is how you think about relationship, maybe even business relationship that it's someone is trying to get away with something someone is being underhanded and it could very well be true for some of you and then for others this is just your the way you think your thought process which this is the way you're thinking that someone is just out to get what they can get then it takes you to anxiety feeling trauma <laughs> Jeez, Aquarius, then you feel the disappointment. Let me show you what I'm seeing. Look, this is all you, right? All this negative stuff. This is the other person. Wow, this is the other person. So, if you've been watching tarot card readings for a while, you know what most of these cards mean. You know that they're all good cards. Aquarius, some of this shit is just you. This excuse my language. I don't even really curse. If you watch the channel for a while, I'm not like a heavy, you know, swear. But this is this is crazy. You're driving yourself crazy. You're driving possibly this other person crazy. Yeah, four of pentacles. Um, it's almost as if you're suffering in silence. You know, you're not letting in on some some of you, um, What I'm gathering from this, if we're going to talk in terms of money, money looks good. Um, your status, you're just trying to maintain it right now, which is good. Um, you've, you've built yourself up to some firm foundation. You may even have a home in a nice area. Uh, it could be outside of the city, not too far. Um You're super guarded. Some of you are hanging on way too tight to a person, place, or thing. You're you're going to suffocate it. You know why you're hanging on too tight? Because this is your mental energy. So if I hold on real tight and I suffocate them with my thoughts, then I I have them. Am I happy? Are they happy? Possibly not, but I have them. This is um this is your week. <laughs> Let's get the advice. 
Eight of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, The Hangman, The Fool. All right, so these cards, they say that So you see how there's a spotlight here. I don't know if you can see it on her spotlight coming down on her. Focus on yourself. Work on yourself. Um, work on yourself because that's going to give you a better outlet. Something more to focus on other than maybe an individual or a relationship. The spotlight is also on you, your work ethic. This just came to me. If some of you feel like someone is cheating at work or, they, or if when they say they're at work, you don't believe it? Yeah, they're working. This is the workaholic, workaholic card. Um, this person is working. They're trying to maintain them, their status. This this should be you, or or it could be vice versa. Someone thinks that you're not at work when you are at work, but you are. Somebody in your life is focusing on themselves, and they've kind of um. Somebody put themselves in like self purgatory. Somebody is actually coming to a realization that it has been them all along holding up the process. They're seeing things from a different perspective. Like if I hadn't, if I would have, you know, you know, um, they're seeing that maybe they manipulated the conditions by way of their actions. Um, The cards want you to either put yourself in a, you know, take a time out so that you can see things from a different perspective, okay? And then they want you to go in a new direction, new development here. Uh, they want you to take the leap of faith, a risk. It looks like it's calculated with all these swords here. Um, you know what you're doing. If this is work for some of you. You have fear-based thoughts about how to move forward. You feel like your plans, there might be some plans that need revision, or you might, you might need to keep your plans to yourself. You're trying to come out of a very disappointing time, maybe in your business or career. You want to take yourself to the next level or you want to maintain the status that you are. Some of you found a home in a really good area. The tough times are over, okay? Yeah, the tough times are over for some of you. Calculated risk here. Uh, you may be learning something new because you want to go into a new path, maybe in career and finance. If there, if this is someone else, wow. Then they they want to have something foundational with you. Four of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, maybe even move in together or look at houses together. <clears throat> They're trying to have the strength and the courage to bring about some very fruitful change. This is moving in together, guys. Um, they may be stagnant because of your own energy. Let me see. I made these these chakra cards. I'm not finished with them all, but I'm a, I'm gonna pull one for you. Aquarius, work on yourself because it looks like good energy is here for you surrounding maybe another person, persons, if it's business. Um, 
It could be relationship. It could be anything. But it looks like, you know, um, <clears throat> good fortune is here for you. I think you need to learn the lesson of... Um, of you, your thoughts, your actions. This one came out. It says, do you communicate your feelings, your thoughts freely? Throat chakra, okay? So maybe this is why you're so stuck up in your head. And so, you know what? You aren't communicating exactly what you want, how you want it, who you want it with, maybe to this person. Uh, so it just leaves you in a place of being, you know, stuck. Okay? It leaves you in a place of, um, look, this is, look, you're not expressing how you feel or someone, it, yeah, this is you for you. And it's leaving you in a place of negative thought patterns, which then turns in, into maybe lack of intimacy because, the question is, are you experiencing intimacy in your relationship? Your sacral chakra. You don't feel confident enough to even voice your concerns, your opinions, your feelings, your thoughts. Therefore, there's no intimate connection. Okay? Um, that's there for you. Let me see. What the monology. Right? Yeah, monology cards are. I'm so hungry. This came out when I was shuffling off camera. Prosperity lies ahead. Look, Aquarius, whether it's with another person, through another person, um, or just through the fact that you are manifesting a new life. Um, prosperity and... Um, yeah, manifesting the life you want. Do know prosperity lies ahead for you, but it's really on you, like, to keep going. Yeah, you need to take a take a breath out, you know, with that hanging in. You need to think about. You need to think about um, what it is you're doing to. So this card, the hangman says. Looking at things from a different perspective, asking yourself, why isn't I, why haven't I had the life, the change I've wanted? Why haven't the things that I have been manifesting, praying for, working so hard for, why hasn't it turned over? Because there's a deeper reason, reasoning here. You got to find reason here. Something that's making you um, high anxiety here. It looks like it's you, though. Take the leap of faith into the unknown. Yeah, it's like some of you have to just jump. And if this is in business, yes, start the new business, okay? And if this is in vulnerability, trust issues, intimacy, take that leap of faith. Never make permanent decisions on temporary feelings. So some of you with this devil card here, um, the devil card says make sure that um, you make the right choices, okay, or right decisions um, because if you don't, maybe a path that you're choosing to continuously go down will lead you to entrapment, to feeling stuck. Okay, what are they? Shackled, chain, right? But they can loose themselves, but that's the entrapment here. And it's all due to your choice. Um, or your choices. Maybe you're like for some of you is make it's wanting to be in a relationship out of loneliness. Okay. Um You can't do that because that's a whole nother snowball of crazy. Um, let's see what the fortune is here. Or maybe we can cut and get a little bit more information. 
let's not lose sight of what the cards are advising us to do. Focus in on yourself. Work on yourself. Um, try to maintain that stability, whether it's in uh, your finances or your career, or if, if it's um, just maintaining a stable and solid ground where you're not flip-flopping, okay? Um, examine yourself and ask the question of why haven't um, I had exactly what I wanted? Why haven't I manifested exactly what I wanted? Don't be afraid to go in a new direction, okay? All right, so that's the advice. Write it down. Um, but we're just getting, you know, additional tidbits, but don't, you know, stray away from what the advice is, all right? So thank you, Lord God, for blessing Aquarius, right? Concern here. Um, this could be coming from an outside source. Someone is concerned. Um, bad health. Um, now it could be actual bad health. Let's see what this is all about. Journey. Okay. Community. All right. Um. This came out off camera. I told you. Distant horizons. Here at the bottom of the deck. Um, some of you dealing with somebody who has money. We talked about that in the beginning. They just have resources. And they be, may, may be very more mature in how they deal with you. Maybe they, they might not be as hands-on as emotional as you want um someone's resources or wealth or you know um puts them in a place of thinking that everybody's out to either get them um this could be you aquarius or vice versa um or there's like a, a struggle a tug of war for you know who's dominant someone wants really structured layout of feminine and masculine roles within a relationship connection business i don't know but someone really wants that they operate better with that and that maybe this is what they were brought up in in terms of their upbringing um someone's really concerned about maybe the health of, of a relationship So someone's traveling to someone. Also, there could be like a physical, you know, health-related issue. There's someone traveling to see someone. Also, it could be a family member or a friend. Um, someone you're dealing with is very respected in the community. You may be traveling to see them or vice versa. But there's a lot of travel here in regards to, you know, uh, what they do for a living. Or someone is moving back and forth you know they're here and there um someone needs to be concerned about their health in terms of their occupation and what they do prosperity lies ahead for a good number of you in the distant horizon but it's up to you if you're going to be able to handle the journey to getting there see when you I think I said this last time, when you manifest, um, you're manifesting the end result, but not the journey, not the in-between. It's almost as if, you know, when they, the cliche, trust the process. I hate when people say it. Um, because, you know, when someone repeats something over and over again, it can get so watered down to where people aren't really dissecting the words of this little saying or this slogan or this little, um, you know, yeah, this little saying. So trusting the process is knowing and keeping, holding your vision in regards to your end result. 
if you know that you want to be with this particular person or you want to have this particular career doing this thing or start this business or you want to see your child your child or children off to you know um some uh formal education outside of you know um primary school then hold the vision but sometimes we get lost in we get lost in the journey in the process um Some of you get lost in the process, but the cards want you to, to know that it's happening. It's just not happening the way you want it to happen. You, you wrote in your journal and all that stuff that you wanted a wealthy man and you wanted a house and, the, you know, the dog and the cat and all that crap. Okay, so now you've been through two horrible relationships. What did they show you? What did you learn about yourself? What did it learn? What did you learn about your lack of discernment or your need for companionship ask questions that are going to help you better you so that you can get the wealthy man or the big house or um be respected in your community um everything in everything there's a small lesson it's almost like my grandma used to say um there's a little you know there's a little truth in every lie if you if you really dissect that, it kind of is, you know. People can't pull things completely out of their ass, you know. Um, so, I don't know, Aquarius. It's kind of making me a little wonky here because I'm seeing that some of you have really good things coming in for you. But Spirit isn't going to push it through right now because you need to fix you your mindset your lack of discernment if that's you some of you have great discernment um you're not asking the question the advice is why haven't i had exactly what i want okay you see he put himself there um so why are you in this self purgatory? So you can learn something about yourself. Hence the word self. Um, and then you can move forward. Like some of you are going to be moving in with, with your guy or your girl or, yeah. And um, I keep going to this. Okay, I'm going to say it. I, I was trying to like gloss over it. But some of you manifested a wealthy man like that was on your list like i want somebody who's rich or with money or with you know endless resources and you got it and some of you don't know how to deal with this particular man okay he doesn't have a lot of time he it's a lot of times for this person you know um time is money um he doesn't play around um, not too much, not to say that he doesn't have a place for nature or he's not fun. He might be no nonsense. But anyway, you manifested him or her. Um, deal with it. I mean, now what are you going to say now? You're going to go back on your manifestation? You don't want it now? No, you've always wanted it. You just didn't know. <laughs> Even with this type of person, you still want to have to go through a journey. Maybe a self-discovery journey of, um, like I said, someone here wants clear-cut definition of who and what the woman does, who and what the man does. And if that's not you or the same sex, you still want that clear-cut, you know, definition. And if that's not how you want to operate in your life, where you, you want to be the boss sometimes, you don't want to be the boss sometimes, and you know you're you, you pick and choose it's not gonna work well for this kind of a a type personality so um good luck um very interesting week okay don't lose sight of the advice the advice was really good um new direction okay thank you aquarius i hope that you took something from this um all of the links are below if you want to request your own personal reading. Um, the coupon code is below also, I believe. If not, I'll place it below. 
Uh, thank you. Take care. Many blessings.